Okay, guys, we got the easy go golf cart ready to go, but having issues with the internal starter, I knew there was a problem when I removed the cover and took the flywheel off. Those brushes that ride alone at Armature, they were super low, and I seen that when I took the flywheel off. Um, but it was starting, but I knew there were going to be a problem. Now, after driving this thing for about a week or something, it barely wants to start, uh, if at all. And I'll show you guys exactly what it's doing. So we're going to replace the brushes along that internal starter, those brushes that ride along that armature, we're gonna replace those brushes and um, get this thing back up and going good. Cause other than that, it, it's running and driving perfect. So uh, I replaced the cable. I cleaned all these connections off, all this four reverse switch. I replaced uh, both battery posts, another cable here to make sure I wouldn't have any uh, connection issues guys. So uh, we're gonna get everything going. So let's remove this cover, we gotta remove this uh, pipe, this is us pipe, and then cover, super simple, and replace those brushes. Okay, let me show you guys what's going on, what's it doing, before we uh, break it down. I bought a brand new battery, but I thought the battery was, um, maybe had a dead cell, and it wasn't charging like it's supposed to, so I took it back, and I bought a, a marine deep cycle battery, the internal starter takes a beating, so I wanted to put a good battery in here. Um, oh, I installed a new carb, because the other carb, the throttle was sticking some. Now it's fine. I don't know why the throttle was sticking after I cleaned it thoroughly. So now it's perfect. I'm excited to see what, how this good new carb is going to work. Uh, let me show you guys what it does in forward and reverse. So we're going to hook the battery up and show you guys what it, got, what it does and what you have to do uh, to even try to get it to spin. And I'm, we're going to get these brushes out of here and remove their pipe. So we're going to also get it jacked up. But let's take a look at what's going on. So we got a hot battery. This battery is brand new. Just bought it. Put that on there. Key for it. We got power. Put brand new LED lights in here, guys. We got LEDs now. We got LEDs and we're bright. Those yellow. But we're going to change those to LEDs too. Back lights on there. So... We got lights, key forward, switches in forward, and watch this. Let's give it some gas. Let's try to go wide angle on this so you guys can see everything. Nothing. You can hear the solenoid kicking, but watch this. All I gotta do is rotate it a little bit. Let's go back a little bit and watch what it does. Oh wow, I ain't doing nothing now. Okay, let's see. Let's see. That's it. Gotta move it to get it to turn. Now let's try reverse. It's a little bit better in reverse. Let's move it just to free it up a little bit. A little bit more. Why it was doing better. Nothing. Alright guys, that's what it's doing. Get that out of our way. Oh, this is the battery number. Fairly big battery for this, but it fits in here. Without touching anything. So uh, and half an inch of work. Or 13 to work. So these are our boats right there. Okay, we're off from right there, so let's go take it back from up top. So I left this one boat in so it wouldn't fall on us. Let's leave it right there out of our way. So now we got 
this cover is surrounding both. There's one here, 10 millimeter, one here, one for this ground here, and let me show you guys the ones at the bottom. The ones on the bottom of this is not on there. It wasn't there when I purchased this thing, so I never reinstalled it. Oh, they're there, but they're, it's not on there. They go another one, and it's one right there. And I think that one should be on the cover too, but it's been off of it right there. The one that's brightest should go there, but it's not there. So that's all we holding on is by the top ones. We're gonna remove those, and then we're gonna pull the cover off. Okay, so we got those out. Now, we can just tie these wires up out of our way. Let's put a wire tie on them, get them over. Now that we got that off, there's some tabs around that nut for the flat wheel. We gotta remove, push those tabs off. I've removed this flywheel, guys, in a previous video. I used some penetrant. I'll show you guys what penetrant I use. This stuff is amazing. This penetrant, I just sprayed it down. Let's take a look at it. Let's take a close look. There's nothing. <laughs> wow, they're just about going, guys. There's nothing in this slot right there. Look at that. We're going to clean up real good. Look at that. There's nothing there. Well, let's get some cleaner. We'll be using this. Clean down in there. Okay guys, this is how it should look. This is the wear down mark here. The instruction says these should be three quarter inches long. I'm guessing from this notch. And when it gets to this line, which is, should be a half an inch long, then it's time to replace them. I'm using this stubby Phillip to try to get down in here. So I pretty much got them broke. Got screwdriver wedged inside of there in the spring. Guys, I believe they sent me the wrong ones. Look at this. Not going to work. 
Guys, after searching relentlessly online, I only found one store that had these particular brushes from 1970 to 77. These worked with the internal starters on these golf carts, and I paid a premium price for them compared to any other brushes online. You look them up, guys. I paid a premium for these, but it was worth it. That's what the only place that I found that had them, the Cart Depot. Okay, the brushes came within two days, guys. UPS dropped these brushes off. Two days. I ordered these two days ago. And this is the one. That's them. There's the indicator mark when they need to be replaced. The only thing different is this. Using the aftermarket style. Connector. Yeah, but they're here. So let's install them. This is, like I said, this is the model. I'm gonna install all these guys. I'm excited to get this going. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful outside. It's beautiful outside. I wish we were out there to get some of the natural light, but we got some decent light in here. We're gonna brighten it up so this can be filmed, continue to be filmed in 4K. I'm like all my how-to videos as of late. Oh, also, uh, this is pretty much done. I'm kind of showing both of them in alternate videos. If you look up the videos on this on my channel, the Terror Tiger, the six by six wheeler, uh, you'll see me kind of showing this and the dirt bike. But breather is installed, new chain is installed. This is ready to go. So, but this is the focal point today. Let's get this knocked out. Let's finish this up. I still got the screwdriver holding the spring back down there. Let's get some light down there. And let's finish installing these. Uh, let's go at it. Let's just get them all out the way. And I'm going to clean this armature as best I can. Try to run some sandpaper along this armature to get it cleaned up. So I set the camera here, guys, and I let it just stay here and did the entire fix. It ran, my camera ran for probably about 30 minutes, but I'm going to fast forward and you guys will still be able to see what I'm doing. And I'll kind of do some explaining afterwards so you guys can kind of know the fine details. But I'm going to fast forward some right now so you guys can see. Um, and the video won't be too drawn out.
Okay guys, we're, we're done. We're gonna reinstall everything. I'm not gonna film me putting the flywheel on. It's key, so I did spin the engine over to clean the armature by rotating the clutch. Uh, it's keyed, so you can't mess up anything. Um, what I do want to note is, uh, don't leave this yellow wire off. And also, these take longer screws. There's three connections, including the uh, brush itself. So it should be three in total on both where these yellow lines, um, or where this yellow um, wire goes. Here and here. So this one is just connects to the this backing plate. This connects to uh, three. There's three terminals should be here and three should be here. This should be just single, just like this one at the bottom. Uh, the screws, make sure you get the screws all right. This takes a longer screw, of course. This takes a longer screw. This takes a shorter one and this one takes a shorter one. I cleaned the armature as best I can get it. Got it kind of shining. It's in a difficult spot. I think we should be all good now. So uh, let me reinstall everything and I'll be back in a second. So just reverse install everything how you uh, removed it. So here are the old brushes. And shot. So all of them was kind of wore to the to the mark, to the wearing point. They wasn't all the way dissolved like I thought. Um, see these edges are rounded when they connect to the back and plate. They're rounded and the other ones are square. So I use these shears and shear them off with the multiple wires connected. So you, you can have some space to get in them so it won't tighten down on the wire itself. So I sheared the edges off with these shears. Just wanted to note that. Okay, we're back. Everything's back. Reassembled. Uh, the exhaust is back. Connected. Uh, this is be the first start. The battery is connected now. And um, we're going to see what we got. Start for power. Our headlights working. All the lights working. The rear lights. Now, uh, the moment of truth. Turn the key for it. Turn the power off. It should spin. Uh, should try to turn over. Let's see. Let's go for it. In the forward position. Let's see what we got. Choke it again and see. We're floating. The needle is not seating in this car. We're flooding out. All right, gotta remove the carb and seat and seat the needle. It's a brand new carb. I don't know why it's did that. I should have left the old one on. So let me fix that. Look at that fuel is pouring out of the drain. I'm quite sure the spark plug so let me get this straightened out. Okay, I took the carb off and set the needle. Gas is just running everywhere. This thing's flooding out super bad. I could have used the old carb still. I just want to update it um, to a fresh carb. I still got it. May just put it back on. We're just going to see how this one work compared to the old one. But just got to hook the cables up now and have the needle seated perfectly. I got a video on my channel for that as well to show this. I me mean, kind of breaking all this down and setting that needle correctly. Okay, I reinstalled the spark plug. 
Um, let's choke this thing out. Everything's back installed. Key forward. Uh, let's see what we got. Take it out for a drive now. It's getting dark. It's filmy in here. Let's crack the door open. Be all good. The exhaust ain't leaking nothing. There's nothing screwing out the exhaust. Let's take us out for a nice spin. We're going to show our LEDs off right now, too. It's about, what's the evening time? It's about 7 o'clock in the evening. 7.30. So let's go out for a little spin real quick. guys another flawless video for the channel uh, this thing driving great it's driving great just like I told you guys it would 
and it drives well too. It runs great and it, and it drives well. It's smooth. Suspension feels good. LEDs are lighting up the night. They're super bright. I'm gonna replace those for the foot compartment. Uh, I'll get some LEDs right there too. But until the next video, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the subscribe to the channel guys you guys are about to see the six wheeler we're gonna do a speed test we got to go somewhere where it's really really kind of open at for the uh, six by six wheeler we're gonna wide open throttle that thing and see how fast we can get uh, the chains are done it's fixed too uh, that video is going to be amazing you guys don't want to miss that video and i got some how to's and some uh, product reviews coming as well so once again i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you find it helpful most importantly for anyone with these older carts um, that's having problems with the start or having problems with the engine i got some detailed uh, videos on the channel once again subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you guys can be notified when i upload new content terrence i'm out